All right, gang, in this video, I'm gonna finally show you how to create that two level drill down in Tableau. Hey everyone, it's Andy from vizwiz.com and I'm here to help, teach, and inspire you to become great at Tableau. Before I get started, I had a lot of requests on this topic and I really wanna get this information out there and that's where I need your help. So if you can, interact with this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, or even share it so that we can get this out to the people who really need to figure this out. All right. So there's tons of ways to create a single drill down in the Tableau. But if you're having trouble figuring out how to create a second drill down, I have a guaranteed way that'll help you fix the problem. Let's get into it. We're starting by looking at sales by category. We need to create two parameters, one for each level. Let's click on the triangle in the data pane and choose create parameter. We're gonna call the first one our level one parameter. And we're gonna make the data type a string. Click on okay. We're gonna create a second parameter Let's call this one our level two parameter. And this one is also a string and click OK. We now need to create a couple of calculated fields. Click on the triangle again and choose create calculated field. Let's call this our level one. For this calculation, we're going to say if category equals our level one parameter, then we want to return the subcategory. Otherwise, we want to return the category and Click on OK, and let's drag that to the rows. Let's go ahead and set up our action now to drill down from the first level to the second level. On the worksheet menu, choose Actions. Click on Add Action and Change Parameter. Let's call this Parameter Level 1. The target parameter is going to be our Level 1 parameter, and the field we're going to pass to it is our highest level, which is Category. When they clear the selection, we want to set the value to blank. Click on OK, click on OK again, and now let's give it a test. I'm going to click on Office Supplies, and it drills down to the subcategories for Office Supplies. Click on Furniture, and it drills down to the subcategories for Furniture. If I want to go back, I'm going to click on Chairs, and I'm back to the top level. I'm going to create another calculated field to bring back the header for just the category that was selected. So I'm going to create another calculated field, and I'm going to call it my Level 1 header. If category equals level one parameter. Then we want to return the category, else a blank, and click on OK. And let's drag that between those two fields on the rows. You'll notice they're all blank now because I haven't selected a category. If I click on furniture, I can now see furniture and then no categories for the other two. I'm going to right click on that header and I'm going to rotate the label. I'm now going to right click on the field labels and choose hide field labels for rows. Okay, great. We're now done for the first level. To drill down to our second level, we need to create a couple more calculations. Let's click on the triangle and choose create calculated field. Let's just call this one level two. I'm going to say if subcategory equals our level two parameter, then region else blank and click on OK and let's drag that to the rows. Now I need to set up an action to drill down from the first level to the second level. We're going to go up to worksheet actions and we're going to add a change parameter action. I'm going to call this one parameter level two. My target field is going to be my level two parameter and my source field is going to be my level one. And when I clear the selection, I want to set it to blank. Click on OK. Click on OK again. And let's give it a test. I'm going to click on a category, and it breaks down to subcategory. I'm going to click on a subcategory, and now it breaks down to the regions. Click on one of the regions, and it goes back to the beginning. The next thing we want to do is make sure that the bars get de-highlighted when we click on them. To do that, I'm going to create another calculated field called Highlight. I just need to put some kind of text in here. So I'm just going to call it Highlight. Hit OK. And let's drag Highlight to the Detail Shelf. I'm going to now go up to Worksheet, Actions. And I'm going to add a Highlight action. Down in the bottom, I'm going to choose Target Highlighting. And the only field I want to check there is Highlight. Click on OK. Click on OK again. And now when I click through, notice how the bars don't get highlighted. The last thing we want to do is create different colors for the different levels. So let's start by creating 
two more calculated fields. Let's call this one our level one color. And for this one, I'm going to say category equals level one parameter. Click on OK. And let's drag that to color. Let's create a second calculation. That's called level two color. Level one equals our level two parameter. Click on OK. We're going to drag that field to the detail shelf and then click on the three dots that are next to the field and choose color. So now when I click on a bar, I now get a different color when I drill in. Click on bookcases and now I get a third color. All you need to do from here is a bit of sorting, change the colors, a bit of formatting, and you're all done. There's a link to the final version in the description. That one includes cleaned up tooltips, colors, reference lines, all of the formatting kinds of stuff. All right, so now you should know how to create a two level drill down in Tableau. Before you ask, yes, you can go down as many levels as you want, but I promise it gets complicated. If you found this video useful, please give it a like, leave a comment or share it. That will help anyone having this problem find this solution. While you're at it, remember to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new tips.